What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR, apparently, aka Barbecue, apparently, aka Banquet. Back at it again with another video because the internet comes up with wild names for me. But uh, anyway, um, this FTC trial is starting to get good, but not for reasons regarding the trial at all, because I don't care about that shit. I care about the information specifically related to gaming topics about the trial. So b before, when they were, when them and all these uh, fake um, legal analysts on Twitter, you know, were talking about this legal jargon and, and all that mumbo jumbo lawyer shit, don't give a fuck. But now that interesting shit related to gaming has started to leak out. Oh, now this is good. Now this is good for the, for the gamers who actually care about shit related to the gaming industry and not people who are pretending to practice law at McDonald's overnight. So, um, you know, we've, we've seen shit like, oh, a whole bunch of stuff leak, like Sony's, uh, uh, like the budget for their high profile games, like, um, Last of Us Part Two and and uh, Forbidden West, which both cost over two hundred million, which isn't which wasn't really necessarily a secret. Like that, that's what we esti a lot of people estimated uh, it would be. The um, you know the cost of games have obviously ballooned, especially AAA games and a whole bunch of other you know little tidbits of information and stuff like that. But uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about is uh, Satya Nadella, Microsoft CEO, and um, his dislike for exclusives. So this is kind of like father like son um because Phil Spencer is not not obviously I'm not talking about biologically um but Phil Spencer is under uh, Satya Nadella and um I've talked I've talked about this exact same thing with Phil. Phil is not a fan of exclusives. <clears throat> it's the duality of man. He's not a fan of exclusives uh but as head of gaming um, of Xbox gaming, he has to, you know, uh, he has to use exclusives to his advantage. And um, I don't blame him for that, because as I've said in previous videos, you can not be a fan of something, but understand that you need it for business. And that's, and Satya Nadella has expressed the same thing, right? He said he's not a fan of, um, of, of exclusives in, in, you know, in console gaming. He would love to get rid of it. Uh, and let me just read the exact quote. He said, if it was up to me, I would, I would love to get rid of the entire exclusives on consoles, but that's not for me to define, especially as a low share player in the console market, meaning, you know, micro, uh, Xbox has the smallest amount of market share, uh, among Nintendo, uh, PlayStation and, and Xbox, the dominant player there. And in brackets, they put Sony because it's obviously he's talking about Sony. Um, has defined market competition using exclusives. So that's the world we live in. I have no love for that world. So he's putting it on Sony's head that they are the leader right now. They define and they, uh, they, you know, they, they blaze the path um, of what happens in, in the gaming industry and, and in the market. And others just apparently have, have to follow. Um, so they created this, uh, you know, this battlefield and, you know, they just got to use, you know, ever, everybody else has to use the, the weapons within it, the same weapons. Um, now, first of all, him putting that on, on Sony, I guess, I guess currently that that's accurate. Sony is the, the market leader and they, you know, they live or, well, not live or die by exclusives, but exclusives are a big part of the, you know, the PlayStation brand identity. That, that that's that's a big thing that separates you know PlayStation from the other. That, that's the biggest thing that separates every platform from the other ones is is exclusive, right? So he's not wrong in saying currently that PlayStation you know is, is the dominant one and they uh, define the market by exclusives. But PlayStation didn't create exclusives, right? PlayStation didn't create exclusives exclusives when they came. Uh, in the gaming, came into the gaming market in 1994, right? That was happening before PlayStation uh, and Sony got, before Sony got into gaming, right? That was happening before with, with N Nintendo and, you know, and, and Sega and, um, you know, even before, before that, you know, with 
Atari and shit like that. I'm sure it was still happening, but that's before my time. So I'm not going to speak on that. But y'all get the point that this I- exclusives is not even a like a gaming thing. Exclusive content, exclusive features, exclusive technology, that is literally in every industry, every field you look at, every company who has competitors has some type of exclusivity that they offer that their competitors don't because that's how you compete by offering something that others don't, right? That, that's, this is not some, some weird you know, anomaly to, to gaming specifically. This is every industry. That this is just how shit works. And, you know, like me, um, you know, it, it's what Satya Nadella said. That's that doesn't necessarily bug me or anything like that. It, it's not crazy coming from him. I get it coming from him. It's it's more, you know, what, what's more nuts is like the gamers who are siding with this. Um, main, you know, and, 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 and it shouldn't surprise me because, as I said in the uh, in, in my previous video, you know, some gamers are just going to just going to side with whatever their uh, their corporate overlords say. Right. Even if they didn't actually believe that or weren't actually saying that they adopt that philosophy and adopt that belief. Oh, Microsoft says uh, sales don't matter and, and consoles don't matter. And it's only monthly uh, 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 monthly users that matter. OK, monthly oh, only monthly users matter. Oh, Microsoft says uh, cloud streaming and cloud gaming is the future. OK, I believe cloud gaming is the future now. Um, Microsoft says, uh, you know, subscription services are the way to go. Okay. If subscription services are the way all of them, they say 30 frames is, is, is better or it's, it's ideal or it's okay. Okay. 30, like they just adopt whatever their corporate overlords say, and they abandon all their previous beliefs and all their previous like standards and, and virtues. Just abandon all of them. Don't, they don't stand by none of them. Just jellyfish, no backbone. That's what bothers me. Like you listen. As a gamer, you have to be insane to actually believe that a world without exclusives in the gaming industry or any industry would be a good thing. You are a loser and you are a weirdo and you are stupid. Because if you look at gaming history, okay, when you look at gaming history, the games we have today, a lot of them were bred out of competition. That's fact. That's not debatable. That's not opinion. You can look it up. Some of your favorite games, the long running franchise, a lot of them were bred out of competition just to compete with another game. And that's not only in the exclusive like realm. That's that's just in, you know, uh, third party developers and and, and multiplats. Third party developers are also competing with one another. Ubisoft is competing with EA. EA is competing with other other publishers. They're all making, uh, like EA has competed with 2K and stuff like that. They're all uh, making some type of content to be better than the competitors. All of them do it. And that, that forces and incentivizes uh, one to figure out ways to make their product better than the others. It, it forces innovation. It forces creativity. That you, you decrease the, the, uh, the incentives if, every, if everybody just has what everybody else makes. Creativity and innovation wouldn't be completely destroyed, but it would be, it would be lessened vastly. If I can profit off something that everybody else made, there's, I'm just not as motivated to make what I'm making the best, right? Or, or better, or come up with creative ideas. What would happen is be, the only motivation would really be because what I'm making and selling, I'm going to get 100% of the profit, right? If when I'm profiting off somebody else, I'm getting whatever the cuts are, 15%, 20%, whatever. I'm, you know, that's the only motivation. When I make something and if it sells the most, I get 100% of it. I'm only getting a, a piece of, of what they make. Once again, 
you got to think about it from the gamer's perspective, you benefit. You benefit from when these people compete, from when there are exclusives. Some of your favorite games came from competition. Halo is one of them. Halo is, is well, well, Halo, Halo is one of them, and Halo is, is, is one of the, the pioneer games that, uh, that led to um, a lot of other games in its genre. Like, you have to credit Halo for a lot, a lot of games that, that came after it. And games that, ga- that came before it inspired Halo. That's just, that's just a fact. So I don't know how people could just, just actually believe that exclusives are bad and they would be completely fine with a world without exclusives. The ramifications for that would be terrible. It would be, it would be so boring. It would be so lame. Like, one, and one of, one of the other things I'm glad that has come out of uh, this, this, you know, this, this whole trial shit is, like, people really believed that just because these people are CEOs and they're millionaire, they're multimillionaires or whatever, that they don't talk shit about each other. Oh, yeah. They've been talking big shit about each other, like crazy slander about each other behind, behind their backs. Because they're humans. People think because you just got money and you put on a suit that, that suddenly you become this person that's not going to talk trash about somebody else you're competing with. Oh, they, they talk big trash about each other the same way the rest of us do. So, like, y'all think they're so high and mighty and, and you know, they're, they're stuffy and, and they're just suited up and, and proper. Like, no, they're, they're doing the same thing we do, bro. The same exact thing. And that's come out. And I'm glad people, could, people can see that. Because y'all idolize these these execs in suits like they're just uh, model citizens and like cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Cut it out. It's not that. So yeah. Um exclusives are needed in, in, in the gaming industry. Absolutely. Uh it, it's funny, like this conversation I said on Twitter, like, yo, this conversation seems to only be about PlayStation and uh Xbox. Nintendo has been the greatest beneficiary of exclusives. Does anybody have more exclusives than Nintendo? N- they, Nintendo are like the most pro-exclusive platform we have. The most pro-exclusive platform. And nobody looks at Nintendo like they're bad or evil for making exclusives. Like, I, I don't understand that. Like, when... When it comes to exclusives, like I don't, I never see nobody ever say, Nintendo, you need to stop keeping Mario, um, Donkey Kong, uh, Legend of Zelda. You need to stop keeping that to yourselves. You need to put that on every platform. I don't never, I've never seen a comment like that, never, ever. But these, but for some reason, these weirdos who are like who who think like there's some type of good guy image competition going around that one company is 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 like the good guys and the other is like the the eye of sauron or something like that like bro all that is nonsense this this good this good guy competition in gaming is making me sick it makes me sick because some of y'all are actually falling for it thinking like one company is 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 morally better than the other they're all equal they're all equal like you bozos thinking that oh one company is, is like Pro consumer and one is anti. No, they they all do underhanded, backstabby shit. All of them. So one is not better than the other. Like I, I wish, like I, I can't believe bozos be be falling for that for that okey doke. Oh, they're they're the good guy, and that's why I like them. Like man, shut you, shut your stupid ass up, bro. This good guy nonsense, and you falling for it. I got a lot of things I could sell you if you fall for that. And I don't know what 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 being a good guy in, in gaming does for you as the gamer. Y'all need to start thinking about what things what how you benefit as a gamer. Not this not what company looks nice. Like I've I've never went and, and bought furniture, uh electronics, um anything you anything you got in your house. Uh I've never went and bought bought something. 
based on who I think, who I thought was the good guy in the industry. No, I purchase things based on what's the better product. For some reason in gaming, y'all try to befriend all these, all these executives and, 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 and like a morally align y'all selves with who y'all think the, the good guy is. Yeah, nobody does that for any other industry or field. Y'all just go buy what y'all think is the better product. You should do the same thing for gaming. Stop trying to be friends with these people. They're not your friend. They are not your friend. And some of y'all actually think that. Stop adding them on Twitter. You listen, the only time I be adding developers is to usually to tell them off because I'm upset about something. I'm not trying to be these dudes' friends or something like that. No, I, I want them to put out a better product. Um, so exclusives are needed. They are not bad. I can understand, once again, why Satya Nadella based on his, you know, his, uh, his career background and, you know, being at Microsoft and being this software company that wants, uh, you know, to put software, their software on everything. I get that from his perspective. Even get it from Phil's pers perspective, you know, his personal stance and his business stance. But the rest of y'all who are just gamers, if you have this sentiment, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hit the like button, follow me on Twitter, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.